Hi, my name is Jason from Sotherland, and I just want to tell you guys how much I appreciate you, everyone following our journey. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, and let's go check on our chickens. <laughs> Good morning, ducks. A little frozen today. Not too bad. Sally Henny Penny. Good morning. <laughs> Bernice. Good morning, Bernice. Guys, I can see the grass growing already. It's soon gonna be lawn mowing season and also seed starting season. We're about to start seeds hopefully this week, which is exciting, but you know, I'm not looking forward to lawn mowing. <laughs> Ducks, I got water. Huh? What's up, Elise? We have so much rain this winter. <laughs> But I already started filling up the pig area and hopefully that'll help me with the wood chips because I need to fill this up with wood chips. Whoo, that's gonna be a lot of wood chips. But look at this right here, a little dump cart. I just picked this up and hopefully that's gonna help me with the wood chips. Seems kind of small, but I think it'd be a lot better than a wheelbarrow or we could get both going. One of us could get on the wheelbarrow, one of us could get on this. I also have the back of my truck which we've been using. So the next step with this pig shelter is I need to bring in wood chips. I hope my wood chip dealer comes through this week. Check out this new table, guys. I'm almost done shooting the, the how-to video of how I did this. Do you like the new table? I love the new table. <laughs> it's so much sturdier than our plywood table. You like it, Penelope? Yeah! Putting in some mushroom powder because we really like mushrooms in our smoothie. This is a medicinal mushroom. This one happens to be cordyceps and it's really great for energy and stamina. And I might put a little lion's mane in this one and that one is good for memory and focus and brain health. Greens from our garden. And then we'll top it off with our favorite granola right now. And I know granola is like super easy to make your own, but I did find this one. I really like this brand right now and I can't make all the things all the time. So when you're in a, a little slump where you just, you're like, I can't make one more thing. This brand is really good. Um, they, it does have coconut sugar and not refined white cane sugar. So we like that about it and it's gluten-free and the um, ingredients are really healthy. All right, so it's about time to kick the chickens and the ducks out of the greenhouse. I feel like we just moved them in here yesterday and it's time to start seeds. So we need to get all of our seed stuff going. It's hard to believe that uh, food growing season is here right now. It's just starting. We got Lorraine's herbs are still going. Ducks, come here, let me hold you. One thing I've been doing is trying to get this lawn mower ready to roll. You know, there's nothing worse than having a long grass and your lawn mower won't even start. Nothing worse than that. That's so frustrating when you just want to mow the lawn and this doesn't even work. And then now we're going to use this for wood chips, so we really need it to run. Alright, so 
so I'm horrible at backing up a trailer. So yeah, <laughs> this is gonna take some practice. Woo, that took a little bit, <laughs> that took a little bit of time to figure that out. Um, I think it's just practice, right? Before you know, I'll be a pro. That's really cool. I was hoping that it would just fall out as I moved, but it didn't do that. <laughs> These wood chips are pretty much already kind of decomposed. Uh, it's almost basically compost. They've been sitting there for over, I would say about three years, they've been sitting in this pile. And this is the end of the wood chips. And this is why I need more wood chips. And hopefully they're dry wood chips. That's the first load of wood chips there. But yeah, it's gonna take a lot of effort to bring in more wood chips for here. It'll get done, it'll get done. <laughs> it's like, you know, yeah, we're super small scale here on one and a half acres, but a tractor would still be beneficial, I think, just for this. Just to haul wood chips, that's all I need a tractor for. But this dump cart has to do, my truck has to do, a wheelbarrow has to do. Yeah. Such weird weather here in Western North Carolina because right now it seems like spring is here already. It, it can be deceiving because then we could still possibly get snow. The next two days are, it says rain and then it, and then on Thursday it says snow. So if we're gonna plant, today would be the day. We could put wow, the trellis, blowing away with the wind. We could put the trellis, one end of the trellis here and the other end of the trellis here. Bernie's pooped on me. that we can start in the greenhouse. And these are our peas that we can direct sow right now for our zone. And we can also do onions, but let's see for time's sake if we have if we have time for onions. So we have, we've got onions here. So we have these beautiful spring blush tendrils, which we've never grown before. And then we have these King Tut purple peas. So last year I did a how-to video. It was one of our two-minute Tuesdays that I did. We did on how to install these trellises. It's a little bit more detailed video. I'll leave a link down to that in the show notes. So we have the blush tendrils on this side, on this trellis, and then on the far trellis we have the King Tut peas, and the other one, other side is just the Burpee brand. But I think we can wait until next week to plant the onions. I think we'll do that. And we still have to plant the rest of the seeds or start the seeds. We can start the seeds. We can wait. Ne we can wait till next week, or we can start it tomorrow but I think the sun's going down I have to make dinner yeah we need to clean the trays yes we need to clean the trays we're still getting frost still so some of this is just not it's probably I think it's dying is what it's doing this is the broccoli Ooh, what are we having tonight we're having tacos and salad tacos and salad now if he made the salad Good job, Penelope. You 
this is the salad dressing that I'm going to share for this month's recipe over on our Patreon member area. And I'll leave the link below where you can find our Patreon page and all the recipes that I've been posting every month.